What's going on guys? Hope everybody is doing well today. Just getting to the shop. It is Sunday morning. We got a little bit of snow last night, or I guess quite a bit of snow, about seven inches here in Indiana. And today we're gonna be doing some stuff with the CZ Scorpion. I have got some new upgrades on this thing recently. I know some people on Instagram have been wanting to see it. So let me get the camera all set up and we'll jump into the CZ Scorpion. Now before we jump into the CZ Scorpion upgrades, I did wanna show you guys a little bit of what I've been up to here at the shop. Let me get everything turned on here. Yeah, we kind of have a packed house at the moment. Um, we have a few cars coming in Monday, a few cars going out Monday. Um, Audi RS5 just came to the family. Um, one of my buddies who runs the shop with me just picked this up. Amazing, amazing machine. We have a lot of plans for it. Um, doing a few things with this Mercedes Sprinter van. Knocked out some polishing on this Audi A6 Supercharged. And I believe Monday we're gonna be diving into this Audi RS4, which is one of 300 in the US, very cool car. And then my buddy Dustin's Audi S4, which we're gonna be doing quite a bit of stuff to that. 4.2 liter V8, all wheel drive, very, very awesome car. And then up here on the top, we have a Ferrari 360 waiting to get the bumper back and then we're gonna do some Expel paint protection film. And that's really kind of what I've been jumping into here. I've been learning to do a little bit of polishing, waxing, you know, that kind of stuff. And we've been getting into paint protection film, which is like clear bra for your car, protects, you know, paint chips, rock chips, light scratches. And if you have a nicer car, high-end vehicle, it's definitely something you would want to look into. Now, I'd really like to start making more videos out here in the shop. Let me know what you guys think about that. We also have another YouTube channel, Attention to Details, which is the name of this shop, that we will be posting more videos on here soon. So let me get the camera set up on this tripod and we'll dive into the Scorpion. CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 has been one of my favorite guns ever since I've owned it. I think I picked this up, I want to say it was like 2015 or 2016. It was right when they released the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1s into the US, and this is one of the first generations. I know some of the differences with the first generations compared to some of the seconds that came in were the um, thread pattern on your barrel. I forget exactly what it is, but it is some weird thread pitch on here right now, which I don't really have an issue with it. I don't run this gun suppressed, so it hasn't been too many problems with that. Now we're mainly gonna be focusing on this F5 manufacturing stock and gear head works tail hook brace, but I do wanna do a quick rundown on all the upgrades on this Scorpion, just because I have done quite a bit to it, and I'm always getting asked questions on Instagram about all the upgrades, so might as well just make a video going over all of this again. So. When I bought this gun, I got it completely stock. It came in a pistol configuration, which obviously didn't have a brace, but it looked something similar to this. No brace, no nothing like that. Factory grip, factory trigger, factory rail. And from there, I just kind of started tinkering with it. HP Industries is one company that makes a ton of aftermarket parts for the CZ Scorpion. So here we have an HP Industries rail. I did have an HP Industries charging handle, but it was metal and it was just grinding on the metal rail. I really wasn't a big fan. So I ended up going back to the CZ Scorpion or the CZ factory charging handle, which really isn't too big of a deal. That slap style MP5 charge is just awesome on these things. But HP Industries rail, HB Industries trigger, I actually put an HB Industries, I think it was like their trigger spring kit, lightened it up a little bit. Um, I did do the safety delete myself, the Ambi safety delete, which has a safety lever similar to this here on the other side. And when you're shooting, it just really digs into you. So a lot of guys will either buy the delete, I just went ahead and did mine myself with a Dremel. Um, came out pretty good, doesn't look too bad. Besides that, I'm running a Holosun HS403B red dot, just one of their basic red dots. It's not solar or nothing like that, but this thing has been trucking ever since I've had this gun. So about four or five years, never replaced the batteries, and this thing just keeps going. Now, I do have a Gearhead Works. I forget exactly what they call this, like the name of it, but it's their magazine release, and it is smaller than some of the other mag releases out there in the market for the CZ Scorpion, but there are a few that are like really, really ridiculously long, and I don't know why you would want something that long. I do agree that the factory mag release kind of sucked on the CZ Scorpion, but this Gearhead Works mag release is probably one of my favorites. Now, as far as the grip, for a long time I was running an Apex grip on here, just because the original CZ Scorpion grip just sucked, not a big fan of it, and honestly that Apex grip really, I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of that either. So when I saw that Magpul was releasing a CZ Scorpion Evo grip, I jumped on that. I believe this grip was like 20 or $21, really cheap, nothing too big there, but it makes a huge difference, and I believe it makes the gun look a hell of a lot better. Now getting into the F5 manufacturing modular stock system. 
This thing's badass. It pretty much replicates like a scar stock and it is a left side folder compared to a lot of folding stocks you see are gonna be right side folders, um, especially for the CZ Scorpion. And the stock that I was running or the brace that I was running on here previously was the SB Tactical SBT Evo brace. Awesome brace, I honestly have zero complaints about this. SB Tactical is a very solid company, love them guys. This thing goes on very, very easily. If you guys have ever changed a brace or a stock on a CZ Scorpion, there is a little set screw and then there's just a pin you literally push in here, your stock or brace slides right up or clips right down on. Very simple setup. As I mentioned, this is a left side folding stock. Tucks in pretty nicely. The one thing I do have to say about that, I wish it clipped in just a little bit better. See how it kind of dangles. Um, the SB Tactical Brace, once it was in, it pretty well stayed in. Now that's not too big of an issue because when this gun is folded, I'm either storing it, it's in a backpack, something like that. And honestly, if you had to shoot it in this configuration, it's really not too big of an issue. Now, snapping it back into place, very, very solid. There is no play in it whatsoever. Now the stock is fully adjustable. Your length of pull can go about to there, which is pretty long for this setup, or you can run it all the way in. And another cool thing with this is you can adjust your cheek weld, which is right here. You'll click that back and just kind of lift up on it, push it forward, locks it into place. So this thing does have quite a few adjustments to make sure you're comfortable while shooting, and it just looks awesome. In my opinion, this is one of the best looking braces for the CZ Scorpion on the market. And these things are coming in right at $399 for the Gearhead Works tail hook brace with the F5 manufacturing modular stock system with folding adapter. So it's really not too bad. Now another thing I wanted to touch on real quick is the ETS Group CZ Scorpion mags. Now they're making these in 30 rounds and 40 rounds. And much like anything else, ETS, clear mags, they do look pretty sweet. Um, the CZ Scorpion does come with some great magazines. A lot of companies have been using the platform of a CZ Scorpion magazine to make AR9s, things like that. Um, when it comes to the nine millimeter pistol caliber carbines, really, in my opinion, the CZ Scorpion and the MP5 kind of take the cake. Now, the F5 modular stock system is also available for, what was it, the Strybog, um, the BNT, APC9, and the MP5. So, four options for this stock system. I think it's pretty badass. If you guys have any further questions on this setup, definitely let me know down in the comments below. And guys, I'm very, very busy at this shop. I'm trying to find the right balance of being able to film, work in the shop, and do gun stuff kind of all at once. But I would like to start making content, just daily content. Let me know what you guys think about that. Life at the shop, mix in some gun stuff, and kind of whatever goes from there. And as I mentioned earlier, be sure to go follow Attention to Details YouTube channel. I'm kind of running that, uh, me and the guys here at the shop. Just getting into it, kind of with the car game, and we're going to see where that goes. And we are in the dead of winter right now. I wouldn't say we're slow by any means, but as far as like car shows, getting out with the nice cars, things like that, it is a little bit slow. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I really do appreciate all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one.